Hi everyone, Assalamu alaikum. And today we're going to to discuss and solve some problem in the plan layout in which we involve with line balancing. Okay, these are the question. They give us uh, two table here. Okay, the first table is about the task, the precedent. Okay. The task that come before, and then we have time for each task in minutes. Okay, and then they 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 come up with the rules here. Okay, using most follower rules. Okay, so echo. Okay, let's look at table Q four B. Okay, and don't forget, we uh, sum all the tasks. Later on, we're going to use it. Okay. Okay, this is the table Q for B. Alright, they give another table. Alright, these are the workstation. These are the time. And they already assign each workstation with the task. Okay. And this table is very important for us later on. So, the question is, construct a precedent diagram. So, you need to draw the bubble and arrow. And then you need to calculate the output per hour. Okay. And C, calculate the efficiency of the line. And part D, they do some changes. Okay, on the task itself. Okay, so they are they change task E, F, here G, I. And also they change the output. Okay, first we tackle the uh, three uh, questions first. Okay. Okay, first is to construct precedent diagram. So, these are the table A they give us earlier. So, we need to draw the precedent, precedent diagram. So, what you have to do, okay, how to read it, okay. So, precedent means that uh, for, for easy to, 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 to refer, so you just draw the arrow. So, you definitely know after B, we have D, after B, we have E, after C, you have F. So by having this arrow, so you can draw the precedent diagram. These are all the tasks, and the arrow shows the connection. All right, make sure it's correct, and don't forget to uh, put the uh, time, last time here. Okay, so so you answer the question A. Construct precedent diagram. Okay, next. Calculate the output per hour. Since they don't give us information on the cycle time in the in the question, but do you remember that we have this quest table B? Actually, this table is very important because they give us cycle time here, if you remember. Okay, so which one is cycle time? Cycle time is the time when you start each new workstation. Okay, station 1, 1.7, workstation 2, 1.7. And so on. So every workstation they will start with 1.7. So the cycle time we have already information that 1.7 minute for one unit. Okay, that's a cycle time. So from here, this is the formula for cycle time. Now they want us to give output per hour. So by using this formula, you can find the output. Okay. Right. So for the output, it will become production time per hour over CT, in which in this case is 1.7. So we know that production uh, time per hour is 60 minutes. So definitely we can find that the output is 35 unit. Okay, for output, we need to round down. Remember that output, okay? For, for others, uh, we usually round up. For output, we need to round down. So instead of uh, having 36 unit, you need to round down to 35 unit. Okay? So we answer the question B. And now, we're going to calculate the efficiency. Okay, nice day one, the efficiency. So all the efficiency, the, this is the formula for efficiency, sum of Time for all tasks. Okay, remember we did that before in the, the table A. So N, we don't have any N, but remember N is here in the table again. Remember, 
this is the city and the workstation we have six so n is six and then our city we calculate uh, we uh, we look at this table so in 1.7 so the efficiency is 89.22 so we answer question c right okay now we're going to d okay d there's a little bit uh story here <laughs> okay so this is uh the the we need to uh to to change okay to change the table due to the uh question d here okay we go with the first one task d okay a b c no change so we stay okay d we start with d what happened to d so they reduce the time okay so the original time from one minute you have to reduce 60 percent so you get 0 0.4 minute okay and then next, as E and F eliminated, so E and F is gone, right? And then you have as G, okay, we go to G here. And then G, what happened to G? Reduce 40% from the original 1.2 minute, okay? So we get 0 0.72 minute. And then we have I. Okay, there's no changes on H. So I, what happened to I? Again, they reduce this time 20%. So the original of 20%, or the original is 0 0.8 minutes. So you reduce 20%, you get 0 0.64. So this question asks us to rearrange the new layout using the most follower rules. Okay, they give rules, which is echo. And they change the output here okay okay don't forget we have to calculate the new uh, sum of all tasks here because we have changed change d g i and we eliminate e and f so we have a new uh, sum here right and then what else they change okay they change the output here 40 output per hour so when you change the output automatically your cycle time will change okay okay first we need to calculate the cycle time so based on the output here 40 per hour so we have uh, uh, in the information okay this is hourly output so easy to calculate so we have 60 minutes and then 40 units and we have 1.5 minute per unit okay so the cycle time totally change and then we need to calculate the number of workstation. Okay, so the workstation definitely will change because some of all tasks have been changed. Remember, this time we get 5.66. Our cycle time is 1.5. So the number of workstation is 3.77. And for workstation, you must round up. Okay, so you get four workstations. So all these tasks are going to be in the four workstation. And then you need... Uh, what happened here, you need to do some uh, summary here, okay, or the conclusion here. So, from the number of station, earlier we uh, they have six, okay, from the table B. And then now they reduce to four stations, okay. And for efficiency, some of our tasks have been changed and also changed. TT also changed. So, definitely the efficiency changed. Okay, so it becomes 94.3% in which we can see that there is an improvement of efficiency compared to the uh, uh, previous calculation. Okay, next we, need, we can start to rearrange. Okay, first, you need to draw, draw the new precedent diagram because you have changed. So again, uh, for easy uh, reference, you just draw the arrow so you know that after B, D, A, after A and D is G, so easier to, to follow. So okay, these are all the tasks. Then don't forget the connection with the arrow. And don't forget the task time here. Okay, the red one is the one that we change. And don't forget we eliminate uh, E and F no longer in the picture. Okay, so we can start by using which rules? We stated that use more, most follower in which, in this case, uh, is echo. Okay, we have kepala and echo, so most follower is echo. So, where to start? Okay, for workstation number one, 
again, most follower rules from A, B, and C, definitely we need to calculate how many uh, tasks that they have. Okay, for A is, let me see, is 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, for B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And for C is 1, 2, 3, 4. So definitely, B will start first because they have the most follower with the with uh, starting from I, from J, I, G, and D. So they have like five tasks here. So we start with B. So start here, every word new word station, we start with the cycle time. Your calculator is 1.5. Since we have A, B, C, but due to the rules, you need to assign B. So you have 0 0.8. Okay. So these are the balance when you... Uh, minus uh, the cycle time with the uh, task B. So you have 0 0.7. Next, what choice do you have? You have either A, okay, C, or D. So A, C, or D. So since we have 0 0.7, don't waste any uh, any time here. So you just choose C, okay, 0 0.7. So we can uh, close station 1 without any idle time. Okay, next we open the new workstation. So our our choice gonna be A, B, and H. So again we start with the new cycle time, A, D, and H. So we choose H, okay, 0 0.6. And then next we have A and B. I cannot be included in eligible because G is not happening yet. So I is not uh, not available. Right, so you choose A. So next, you have uh, next you have only D. Uh, sorry, D. Okay, because G cannot 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 be uh, assigned because D is not uh, assigned yet. So you have no choice. D zero point four. So again, you have no idle time. So you have a complete workstation two. Right. Next, you open a new workstation. Okay. With the new cycle time and this time you have no choice but to follow g okay so g you have 0 0.72 now you minus 1.5 you get 0 0.78 and then next you only have i okay i is 0 0.64 okay and then you have balance 0 0.14 and you cannot fit g right because it's not enough so you close workstation 3 and remember we calculated we have 4 workstations so definitely J will be in the 4th workstation. So for the 4th workstation again start with 1.5 J will be inside the workstation alone so with 1.3 and then you have the balance here so the other time for workstation 4 is 0 0.2. So we have assigned all the tasks okay Workstation 1, we have B and C. Workstation 2, we have A, D, H. And workstation 3, we have D, H. And workstation 4, we have J. So when we look back, okay, with all our workstation, all the tasks is uh, actually fit into the workstation. And don't forget to sum the idle time. We have 0 0.34 minute. And we check with our calculation and earlier in which we have four going to have four work station for all the tasks. So definitely we are in the good hands. So I uh, hope this um, uh, tutorial will help you in solving the lines balancing. Okay. Thank you very much. See you later.